Hey turnips, so today I'll be teaching you guys how to make this super adorable and super fluffy Superhero 6 Baymax and it's really delicious and without further ado, let's get started! So starting off with our ingredients, we are going to use all-purpose flour and my cupcake base is going to be based on Magnolia's vanilla cupcake recipe and since my friend Kat wants to make it a red velvet cupcake, we decided to tweak the recipe just a little bit and of course all the ingredients will be listed down below and then we also added our baking powder as shown and then we are just going to mix them up all together so that it's well incorporated together. And of course, we are going to add in our granulated sugar to make that cupcake extra sweet and extra delicious as well. And we are going to cream it with our butter until it's smooth. And the butter should be in room temperature so that it's really easy to combine together. If your butter is not softened at room temperature, that's okay. You guys could pop it in your microwave and microwave it for a couple of seconds just to soften it up a bit. And soft butter is what we're looking for. And there's certainly a difference by using softened butter, it'll give you a cupcake a nicer taste and also have a better texture as well. And quick shout out to Ariella for helping me smash the butter and sugar together. And for this recipe, um, I'm making it as a collaboration with Anna, Kat and Angelus. They were so dedicated to Big Hero 6 Baymax that they even decided to shop at Walmart with me at 10am on a Saturday morning. So kudos to them. By breaking your butter and sugar together, it makes it easier for you to mix, especially if you're using a mixer. And now that it seems very prevalent, I decided to use my mixer and mix them well together. After giving it a quick whisk, you could definitely see that it's different. Now it's really soft. And then we are just going to like press it down gently so that it looks like mashed potatoes. And that's when you know your sugar and butter is really combined as one. And they really do look like mashed potatoes, don't you agree? Now it's making me hungry. Now at this point we are going to start adding our eggs and beat it. And I'm also mixing on a medium speed just so that everything's well incorporated together and it's also smooth. And thanks to Kat's assistance, um, you could definitely see a noticeable change in texture after the adding, adding the eggs. It's really smooth and it's also really creamy. Once you see that it's all smooth and you can see that there's no difference in texture or layers, this is when we are going to add in our whole milk. I strongly recommend you using your whole milk over other milk like 1%, 2% low fat because whole milk has that extra fat that makes the cupcake so much better and the flavor is just simply different and so much tastier. So definitely recommend using whole milk. And when you're baking, I definitely do not recommend using soy milk because the fact that it doesn't have much fat, it does not really enhance the flavor. In fact, even though it, ha it might be an alternative, healthier choice, it might not taste the same. So definitely whole milk all the way. And just like most good bakers do, we are going to sift our dry ingredients. You guys could sift it beforehand, but I didn't decide to do that because I want you guys to see that it's important to sift and it's also easier to sift and mix at the same time. So that when you're adding and mixing, you also breaking it into small pieces and that's the point of sifting so that you break down the dry ingredients so that it's well incorporated together so that when you do mix, it's so much simpler and so much easier and of course your cupcake is going to turn out so much smoother as well. And just as shown previously, we added some of our red food coloring and since we were making red velvet, red velvet is basically chocolate cupcake with red food coloring. Lots of red food coloring, in case you didn't know. Also be sure to scrape down the sides so that your dry ingredients might have been stuck there so that it's well incorporated together. And then now we are going to measure out our chocolate chips and we're going to heat it up with our microwave. And you guys could also consider heating it up with a double boiler so that it does not get burnt. One crucial thing to keep in mind when you're heating chocolate over the microwave is that you microwave every 30 seconds and as you notice that it's getting thicker and it's getting warmer, just make sure to like, you know, give it a quick stir so that it doesn't get burnt. And then now we're going to add in our warm chocolate onto our cake batter and we will continue mixing. And as you mix, you see a change in texture, it will get thicker and that's what we're looking for but be sure to not over mix your dough because over mixing will make your cupcakes really hard and tough and that's certainly not what we're looking for. Of course, with the liners, we are going to avoid sticking our cupcakes onto the pan 
and that just makes our life so much easier. And if you guys don't have an ice cream scoop, that's fine. But I'm using a small mini ice cream scoop so that it's easier for me to scoop. And it's just enough so that all the cookies are exactly the same. Look at that, doesn't that look effortless? And I'm going to give you guys a close-up shot on how it looks. Look at it, it's so easy. Even just looking at a cupcake batter, you can see that the colors are so rich and it's going to be a great red velvet cupcake. Now we are going to proceed to making our cupcake frosting in the meantime while we let it bake in the oven. And we are going to add in our confectioner's sugar, butter, that's already softened at room temperature. Even though the butter is kind of yellowy, the fact that we are adding so many confectioner sugar, it just dilutes the color as well. And we are going to add in a splash of milk to really enhance, to give it a smoother texture. And of course, it's going to be kind of boring just having sugar, milk, and butter. We are going to add in our vanilla extract that I got recently from Walmart, finally. And it's just going to enhance the flavor so that it's a vanilla buttercream frosting. Just like before, we are going to combine it manually so that it's really creamy. And it's also easier to mix as well. Since we have so much confection sugar and we mix it with our mixer, it's going to create a huge mess. So by manually mixing it, it just makes life so much easier. Even though it can be very tedious and boring, thanks to my friends Anna, Angela's cat and Ariella, we have made it. And look at that, wow, it is so much better. Baking with friends is always fun and definitely this recipe is so simple and so easy that you could definitely make it with kids. It's just a perfect way for kids and adults to bond. So definitely give this recipe a try. And now we are just going to beat it together with our mixer so that it's really smooth. This step might take a while depending on how smooth your butter is, but the smoother your butter, the shorter the duration it is. And just keep on mixing until you have reached this beautiful consistency right here. It's actually kind of surprising that before it was kind of pebbly, now it's just so smooth and creamy. Now for Baymax face, we are going to melt our chocolate, cut our marshmallows in halves so that we create the face. I find it easy to first use our toothpick and dip in chocolate and then draw the eyes. By drawing the eyes, you can see how long you need to draw them out. A quick tip about the eyes is that when you draw the eyes, make sure that you draw them as far away as possible and because that's the resemblance of a Baymax. And we are going to add in our chocolates generously so that you do not need to double dip too many times. And just do it gently and if you feel like your eyes are not as distinct as they should be, just give it a quick swirl so that the excess chocolate could just be covered at the edge of the eyes. And now we are going to draw the Baymax mouth. This is also my first time making Baymax uh, face, so if I can do it, you could definitely do it. And if you are not certain or not confident, just do it slowly, there's no hurt in doing it slowly. And before you know it, you will have a lot of practice. Now I'm going to give you guys a close up on how this Baymax looks like. And you know it's kind of circular because it came in the form of a marshmallow. We are going to just like squeeze it just gently so that it has that nice oval shape. And now we are going to pipe our buttercream frosting on top of our cupcakes after it has been cool for at least 10 minutes. And we're just going to pipe it in a circle so that it's relatively uniform and it's beautiful. And it just looks really good. Look at that. It's so cute. And the thing about baking is that practice definitely helps. So even if you messed up one, or two or three, you have a lot more cupcakes to go. And before you know it, you will have massive skill of piping. And it's so easy. And at this point, once you have finished piping all your cupcakes, we are going to add in our Baymax head on top of it. And we can now finally call this a Baymax Red Velvet Cupcake. And of course, here's the zoom in. These are super cute and super adorable and of course definitely delicious. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this easy tutorial on how to make the Baymax Red Velvet Cupcake. And special thanks to Anna for bringing this up and showing me the picture of the Baymax Cupcake. And it was so easy and delightful to work with you guys. 
Also a quick shout out to Angelus, Kat and Ariella for helping us out on this collaboration. I still haven't seen Big Hero Success so let me know in the comments down below about what's your favorite scene or your favorite quote made that will convince me to watch it. Join me on my other sweet adventures by checking out my channel and subscribe. And if you guys like what I do, hit that subscribe button and of course you guys can always thumbs up and like and share. And until next time, bye!